Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where an escape attempt is currently underway. As you can see a lot of these Loris prisoners are running because of this tunnel. Interesting. Let me just go to uh, remove tunnels and uh, sort that right out. Speaking of sorting things right out, uh, let me pause it for a moment. Um, there's a couple of things we need to do but um, in the previous episode we went ahead and got some more prisoners as we have been doing for uh, quite a number of episodes now. We've also done some tweaks and changes here and there and obviously this workshop is um, up and running as well. What we do need to do though is um I say alter a couple of things uh, so a bit of housekeeping let's go over to metal detector and place that in because i did forget about that i will now go over to our deployment and change this security room to staff only which purportedly will fix the issue with these prisoners leaving i was always under the assumption that they will uh, be escorted through things like that but uh, well by all accounts that would fix the problem so let's see what happens there i'm also going to go over to objects and to dismantle and because of the some weird quirk of cloning you can see there is more lights in here than, <laughs> than a, uh, an Edison warehouse. Uh, that's a lot of lights. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and dismantle most of them because they are simply not required. Also, I think there will be a noticeable impact on the power grid there. Uh, let me do that. And we're going to do the same thing here, although it's just going to be... Uh, just four sets of lights in no particular order there because they've only got a, a double roll rather than a, um, a one extra. I'm also going to go over to, apparently a tunnel there, I doubt it. I'm going to go over to deployment and to, um, I think we'll change this to shared and then that should fix the issue with um, there not being enough cells for prisoners. Although apparently, as it still says there, uh, that we don't have enough, um, enough for people. Although, uh, to be fair, this will be uh, that will be the issue there because that is currently not classed as a legitimate um, yeah it's, it's not classed as a legitimate room until it's been removed so we will prioritize the removal of that you can see all of that is getting searched and that's just generally what happens there that is now removed which means that we should eventually get that put to normal maximum shared 56 uh, minimum 56 and uh yeah there we go we're now okay uh, i will go ahead and change one of these back over to minsec there we go and um that should be okay now in fact both of these could probably be minsec i believe uh there we go is that going to be fine it is fine yes 105 minimum security and we can have a we've got a maximum of 112 and then we got medsec which we've got two under the um actually no uh, yeah, we've got two under, and then uh, protective custody, we've only got four out of the uh, 20 that we can have. Okay, fine. Um, you can see there is um, some issue there with a lot of these a lot of these prisoners here that have been um, put in here. And the advantage, I guess, that we have, now that they're all in here, if we go over to our intelligence, we can see that we do have potential CIs. So we will go ahead and recruit these informants, like so. And that should be about right. I'm also just going to check out to see if we've got any traits that are problematic. Well, deadly and strong. Yeah, that's, that's a problematic one, certainly. But it's not, um, not something that's going to... Um, get them attacked as far as I can tell and there's also some uh, things there some uh, contraband that we've just found right okay so in this episode ooh, uh, right that's a that's a problem uh, snitch um, I either missed that or it was an unknown trait I could have been staring right at it I uh, just didn't notice it and that's making me look again no not seeing anything else not saying that there isn't but there we go uh, we've still got these um we still got these prisoners in and around here. You can see they're happily uh, wandering around the canteen there, so that's all right. Um, we have not. Oh, that's a thing as well. I haven't connected up. Where haven't I connected up? Um, that there. So that needs to get connected to the CCTV monitor because I forgot that. And there we go. Why? There we go. It's connected. Excellent. Right. So that's, uh, I believe, the majority of um, the comments that was left. Uh, there we go. Right. And um, building brick. And we're going to get some uh, extra building put in here. This is going to be for some more uh, medium risk prisoners. So we've got a couple of things that we can do. Um, at the moment, we have um, a decent amount of prisoners, but we really are looking to get some more medium, so we uh, continue on with the workshop. The problem with that is that if we go over to the grid, we'll see that that is running fairly hot already. Uh, yes, yeah, so or we could probably get at least one more um, workshop. Actually, one more workshop, and that would probably, probably blow it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we might go ahead and uh, forgo that one and build uh, the one there instead. That's probably the way forward, but we'll see how we get on. 
So, looks like someone has just uh, overdosed there, but they are heading back up. Let's go over to our quick build and clone, and we will clone from here. Um, oh, they're actually putting lights in, and that's a problem because if I clone this, it's going to put double lighting. I shouldn't have put auto light in there. What I'll do then, I will cancel all building. That's gone. That's got some weird glitches on that. What's going on there? I don't know what's going on there. That is interesting. Let me go to dismantle object. I'm going to dismantle all the lights in here. So when I clone, it means that uh, we should be able to clone. Okay, that's strange. That is very strange indeed. Anyway, uh, I was going to... I was going to expand um, to the west here. It's 40 grand and we will have enough by the time we... Even considering we'll be building this and other things, we will have enough. Um, that's what I'm getting... Uh, Electrocuted. I'm going to hire another gardener because there's actually a couple of gardeners because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of grass to be mowed. Uh, yeah, expanding to the left would be a good idea because we'll be able to get our power plant uh, building and power all of these workshops, and then we'll also be able to put some forestry in. The problem with that is that forestry gets a lot of contraband um, cycling through it, um, all the digging tools, and we would probably need some sort of well, we would need more protection. Speaking of that, once I've done this, I am going to uh, place some road gates on the outside because um, well, I've been meaning to do it for quite some time. Let's just go over to our quick build once again then. And we'll be cloning from the top left of here. And we'll put in pretty much everything that we can. And there we go. There's that fine. And then finally, we'll place that one in there. And job done. While we're at it, we'll also go for a door servo, which will be placed there. And this is not set to any particular type of prisoner, but we are going to set it over to uh, the medsec. But I'll wait until it's all been built first, I think. Um, I don't think anybody will be escorted to that because it's going to be the same grading as the other stuff. So there shouldn't be any uh, great issue there. The great issue that we may have is that, um, well, we are starting to see that this canteen is very full. People are getting fed though, so that's fine. Um, it just depends on whether or not we can have another two dormitories. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll just be uh, on the money there. Anything bigger than this though is not going to work I don't think. There's another OD and looks like a guard has um, got there and has taken them to where they need to go. I'm going to do a shakedown tonight but before I do that I'm going to hire some more guards. I'm not going to hire any arm guards but I do want a couple more dog handlers and that should be about right I think and we will do a shakedown. So a lot of of things to uh, find here. You can see that luckily the mail is being delivered and that's good. If we check our needs we can see that there is some high needs for some of these things but uh, nothing... there's only a couple of criticals. That's okay, that's not too bad at all. And you can see satisfied is... Um, well there's a lot of uh, satisfaction there for environment, warmth. Well warmth isn't even a thing because uh, we haven't got it turned on. Uh, spirituality has been satisfied, literature, that sort of thing as well. Uh, we should probably go over to programs and double check our um, guard test certification. To say four in the queue, I'd like to run that, but running it now is a bit of a waste of time. I'll wait until we get some more prisoners and then in turn get some more guards and then it means we'd be able to, uh, yeah, it means we'll be able to train uh, a bit better there. And why is that form in there? It requires office. Um, oh, it's because that was not designated as office office so I will go ahead and uh, do that at least you got uh, shame you can't have a shared office hmm oh well so that's our set as office so we do have two of the uh, foreman here which is good and more than enough to run these programs speaking of the programs let me just double check on this workshop safety induction I'm going to reschedule all programs there we go that's better um, we can see that we've got a um, 65 past so that's that's a lot better than previously I'm uh, quite happy about that quite content right so the shakedown has passed we'll just uh, check to see what we found in the last 24 hours roughly um, okay lots of cell phones drugs needles Sigs. Uh, a lot of this stuff can be nicked. Uh, um, it's very. That's concerning. The wooden pickaxe. That was stolen from there, and that was stolen from there. That was stolen from there. So yeah, it's it's been nicked from there. We sort of assumed that that was going to happen anyway. At least we're finding it. Um, we're never going to totally put it to uh, you know uh, zero. Uh, contraband you understand it's just not gonna happen uh, in terms of uh, guard patrols I do need to set up some of these so we'll do that um, just gonna go off uh, what we've got at the top there and that should be correct and then a dog patrol around there so we've got the dog patrols going around every single one of these 
uh, cells, uh, or these cell blocks, and we've got dog patrols going around the back and side and all that sort of thing. So there we are. So this is still being constructed. It looks like the workers have got some other things to do. And why are they going down to that, of all things? Is that is that the most efficient way for them? Yes, I guess it is. Uh, I would have thought... Mm, I would have thought another way would have been better. But anyway, that's uh, getting sorted. So... Uh, in terms of grants, uh, we have three grants on the go. Reform through Education Initiative. That will be done, hopefully, shortly. If we check over at this thing, uh, Foundation and Jar. General's been ran um, and almost finished. So in the next uh, couple of days, maybe even the next day, um, we should see if that's been... Uh, that's going to get um, done or not. We've got Calm Tree Apprenticeship, which has produced 10 superior beds. Very unlikely that we'll get that done soon, but you can see people are uh, getting trained at the carpenter tables, which is fantastic. And we have raised the capacity to uh, 200, which will basically get done as soon as this is a legitimate building, which is exactly as I finished that sentence. Let's go over to our grants once more. I'm going to go for cell block E, which is raised the capacity to 500. So not something that we will get done, but it's certainly something that uh, we can plan off. Um, right, speaking of planning, how do we want to do this? Well, I I do want to change that to medium. As I said in a uh, previous episode, I want to try and transition this place over to be more um, medium risk. And I don't know why, but I keep on thinking that medium risk should be more in the centre. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know if that is, is, um, man is, is, a, is a necessary thing or not. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's go over to the pipe work here and we will get all this plumbed in. It's uh, following the similar model from uh, previous ones, so just straight across and round. Uh, in terms of our capacity, you can see that we are doing okay there. Um, minimum, cap uh, minimum capacity is 112 and we've got 91 prisoners. I want to... I want to make sure that when we receive more prisoners, we're only going to be getting the normal risk prisoners. So in terms of intake, we will say uh, fill capacity for normal risk prisoners and obviously we're going to be doing uh, the medsec there. Because of this intake, I'm going to hire a lot more guards. Uh, we're going to bring our total guard numbers, standard guards, to 60, you understand. So that means that when you count for you know, 86 guards in total, um, let's go over to our programs and we will go right down the bottom here and then set up that guard taser certification. Um, and where is that put itself? It's down there. I'll put two of those on. We need to get that sorted. In terms of the uh, general education, sadly, four interested slash qualified, six are finished, zero percent pass rate. Um, interesting. I would have thought some of them would have passed, but apparently not, which is a shame. Anyway, what I want to do is place some road gates in and around this place because I think that would increase our security somewhat. Uh, so road barriers and road gates. Um. I don't know which one to place in first. The barrier, um, stop even speeding trucks, closes only during lockdown. So what I'll do is I'll place that barrier there. And then I'll place the road gate just one step in front of it. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, I'm going to go down the bottom anyway and do the same thing. So road, although you generally want... Do you need do having it that close? Is that a problem? I don't know if it is. Um, I could have put it as like a truck's length, but uh, that should be alright because that one's always going to be open, and these are going to have uh, door servos on them anyway. So yeah. Well, anyway, I'll let them crack on, uh, get them built, and then we'll put the fence all the way around it. Um, that is still not connected. Oh, and we've uh, a tunnel could be there. That is a that is that could be a legit tunnel. Um. Search toilets in these two areas. We're not going to search anywhere else. Oh, you can hear it kicking off there. People were not too happy. Uh, nothing found. Okay. Uh, I will not bother then. So, the road gates are still planned, but the workers have got too many things on their hands. <laughs> Lots of guards just wandering around the outside there at deliveries. Waiting for that delivery to be taken. Looks like that road gate is now in, and it's very... Oh, so they, <laughs> they could have went round, but they decided not to. Thanks, game. Right, so in terms of our wall, then, let's go to fencing, and 
we want to go across and then up. Um, the difference being that this does have a gap between it, so I will place a fence there and a fence there so they can't just walk around. Um, and then we'll go straight up. This is going to take uh, a little bit off of our... Um, it's going to take a little bit off of the delivery and such, but it's not a big problem. It should be fine. We do want to place them door servos in as soon as possible. It's sort of imperative that we get those placed because the trucks... Not the top, because the trucks will probably just clip through it. But I think getting them placed in sooner rather than later is uh, the way forward. So I will prioritise the building of that. Like so. And you can see already we're having some problems with this road here. Because these trucks are trying to leave. They cannot. Um, I will force that open. And let them go through. That is now in. And it is not powered. So we're going to have to run some power. Um, power will run across like so. Same on the other side. It's genuinely taking... A noticeable amount of time to go from the top of the map to the bottom of the map. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, in terms of deployment, we should be able to then set this as staff only any second now. Uh, that's going to be staff only, and that bit's going to be staff only. It's good to know that, that is sectioned off, which is good. And then this will be done once that bit's done any second now. There we go. And we can set that to staff only. Excellent. So, we have received a lot of intake. There you go. There's a lot of people turning up. I will check straight away. And we do have some traits. None of them... Oh, there's ex-law enforcement. So, we do want to see if that... Is that Paul? Ex-law enforcement and quick. Okay, straight away. Protective custody. And we can see over there, no traits there as well. While we're here, we're just going to check these. Remember, we do have the um, phones connected up with a phone tap, so we can uh, find out the traits when they turn up there. There's also some modifiers that you can get, which are for, uh, well, uh, mutators, should I say. Um, there's a fairly recent addition to the game, but the, the, the mutators are quite cool. Some of them are really unbalanced and pretty much uh, <laughs> makes the game not impossible, but it, it really knocks that difficulty up. You can see the teacher there doing alcoholics group therapy, so that's good. Yeah. Excellent. Um, what's happening here? Not the same, there can't be a squad to sell. Okay, that's fine. Just waiting for this to be finished. And we should be sorted. Um... Why is that doing that? Oh, they are. They are getting escorted. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I digress. So I was saying about mutators and how um, you can get different mut mutators. We we did a game where we had certain mutators on. And the mutator was, I believe, it was the extra traits. And uh, the teaching one. I think there was a one where the, uh, the traits can be taught between different prisoners. And it was the combination of the two that just massively killed <laughs> the game. Uh, it was just so, so uh, violent. Just because of the uh, the way it was. Um, right, so phone taps are there. Door control system. So this is the external door uh, that we are connecting up. So, there we are. There's probably some merit in having... There's probably some merit in having... Some more door control systems. But I don't know if I really want to do that. Looks like this is working as well. So I'm happy about that. Uh, the issue that we have though is that we can't clean this place because... Well, we've only got two janitors. And the issue is that our... The issue is that our main cleaning force is done via this. And I just realised that that is a different quality. Why is that a different quality? Ah, because it's, uh, right, per head of prisoner. Right, that's fine. Okay, so we now have these all working in the workshop. I'm just going to double check our workshop safety induction. 32 are interested, so we could start some more. We'll start another one. Um, but it means getting another workshop as well. That would be good. Um, placing it there, would that just blow the grid up sky high? Would it just be like Chernobyl? Um, well, no, because these are just, um, well... 
um, big power stations, not a nuclear reactor. That's a completely different thing. Um, but it would turn the lights off if we did that one because that is running close to hot. We could, if we wanted to, uh, change the grid over for this. Have this be powered by something else? Would that really affect it too much? No. So, I don't know. Do we... I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. Let's see. One. One, two, three, four, five bars is R3. Dismount the utility. That one. Alright. Prioritise that. We'll see just how much frees up. So we know we've currently got five bars free. If we remove this workshop, how many do we get free? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So technically, <laughs> we could, if we wanted to, build... We could, if we wanted to, build that workshop and connect it up. The problem with that is then this workshop is running over the 80% threshold for the uh, chance of that blowing up. Which is suboptimal. Uh, so, instead what I'll do is uh, spend a lot of money and buy everything on the left. There we go. And the reason for doing this is we can do two things. We can add the uh, workshop around the, sorry, the forestry around here and we can get the power station-y type thing here. And that's what we'll be doing next episode when we go ahead and um, expand onto that. We'll need to plan off the the wall around it. We'll have to then delete this wall. Although I'm thinking of not removing this fence. Um, having essentially just a, s uh, a double fence around here. Still the same thing. But instead what we'll do is still have this walkway here. Um... I think that's better because then instead of having this if this was completely open it means that from this point here because it's forestry forestry you can steal um pickaxes and shovels and all of that sort of digging stuff um and yes eventually it will be detected but it'll be detected at this stage or at this stage or at this stage not when they go into the dormitory when it could be used. So if they're situated here, there's nothing, nothing stopping the prisoners coming out, going to the forestry, coming back, and then tunnelling right out in pretty much one night. I think that would be possible. Um, I'm sort of conflicted because I know when we do our escape attempt in this one, that would be a really cool way of doing it. But at the same time, that is not my job at the moment. My job is to keep the prisoners inside. Um, so what we'll do is we will um, do a sort of uh, airlocky type thing. We'll see this one here. We'll open this up and we'll have uh, that one is completely open. Metal detectors there. And um, we'll have the two um, the two uh, gates there. And that's how we'll do it. So it'll be wherever there's a gap of two. So there, there, and there. And that's probably what we'll do. The power station itself will probably go in the centre here. Um, haven't yet determined the exact size of it. My plan is to probably have a power station for... Actually, if they've got four... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17... Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17... Bit of a strange choice for just how many uh, how many things you have. I mean, I know it's not calculating the blocks, it's just a certain percentage of use, but yeah. Um, perhaps then... Well, what's that one powering? That one is currently powering just that and all around here. So I think what we'll do is remove... Quite honestly, I'm very tempted just to remove all of these from the grid and have one, two, one power plant, two power plant. We need three power plants, because if we, we could run them as, we could have probably four of them on each. Uh, yeah, we could, yeah, because if the, if the, if the, t using about, about four blocks, it would be four, eight, 12, 16, and it got 17, yeah, but then it'll be over that threshold. So three power plants is what we need. Um, we'll remove, we'll probably dismantle and remove one of these and use it for something else. Uh, do a bit of load balancing, check all that out, and then we'll know 
what else we need to do. But then we'd have a bit of a gap here for, well, for no purpose whatsoever. Although I'd be very tempted to turn one of these into an additional um, office. But we'll see. I might just say, you know what, leave them as is. Uh, it will increase operating costs, but nothing that we'd really notice. <laughs> anyway, we are going to leave it there. Next episode, we will expand to the left-hand side. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.